for investigative reports. Friday on A&E. Worldwide Pants proudly presents Late Night with David Letterman reruns. Worldwide Pants, the most trusted name in pants and entertainment. Good evening. Certain NBC executives feel it would be a little unkind to present this show without just a word of friendly warning. We are about to unfold a show featuring David Letterman, a man of science who sought to create a show after his own image without reckoning upon God. It's one of the strangest tales ever told. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. So if any of you feel that you don't care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now's your chance to... Well, we've warned you. exciting cities in the tri-state area. It's Late Night with David Letterman. Tonight's guests are Bill Murray, Don Mr. Wizard Herbert, also a tour of the set, a special late night report on the shame of the city, and the Rainbow Grill Dancing Girl. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's very kind of you. And welcome to our show. It's late night. And uh, I guess you know spring is just around the corner in New York City when the peacock girls start to molt. It's uh, <laughs> not unlike the swallows returning to Capistrano. It's a festivity here every year in New York. Uh, welcome to the show. You folks are apparently a bright group, at least, uh, bright enough at least to read the applause sign. And I certainly, <laughs> I certainly appreciate that. Um, I'm, I'm very excited about this new show, and uh, it's a big uh, three or four days for NBC. Um, uh, now, so, uh, let's see, uh, they of course had World War III last night starting on the, uh, and then the Saturday night Eric Estrada was singing, and, uh, and, and tonight this extravaganza, but the whole thing was, was kind of uh, tainted, uh, I believe it was Friday evening, an NBC executive uh, on his way home was arrested at Grand Central Station. Uh, his, his pride was showing, so they <laughs> hauled him away. So, um, we have a wonderful show for you folks this evening. Uh, comedian Bill Murray will be joining us a little bit later. A guy who has been a longtime favorite of mine, you know him as Mr. Wizard, Don Herbert will be joining us. And if that wasn't enough, we're going to be right back. It's a brand new show. 
a brand new set, a wonderful facility, and we're going to take you folks on a tour of this studio, this set, after you take a look at this. Thank you for being here, folks. What would you like to see on late night television? Various ways of me uh, joining metal. <laughs> okay. Something about how to join metal. I would like to see the, the metal is joined. Oh, I wish there was a show that had information on how metal is joined. <laughs> make you handsome or prettier or younger and if it improves your standing with the neighbors then you live among snobs a car is steel electronics rubber plastic and glass a machine and in the end may the best machine win Subaru what to drive behind every Progresso label is a little bit of home Progresso blends the finest ingredients and seasonings to give all our soups true homemade flavor, then adds the distinctive Italian touch that makes them Progresso. Great homemade soups take time and care, and that's just what you'll taste in every bowl of Progresso. For all the flavor of home, make it Progresso, or make it yourself. When the world only dreamed of flight, men of vision took to the skies. Theirs is a story of pioneering courage and technological adventure. From air transportation to our nation's defense, witness the evolution of flight through the eyes of the aviator. Neil Armstrong soars to new heights as he takes you through a living history of aviation. First Flights, Wednesday on a &E. How much insulation do you have in your attic? Three inches? Six inches? Well, the Department of Energy recommends R38 for most American homes, which is equivalent to a foot of Owens Corning pink fiberglass. So grab a ruler and measure your attic insulation. Then get rolling. And get a foothold on your energy bills. For more information, call 1-800-GET-PINK. Since it's uh, the first night of a, a brand new television program for me, I thought what would be fun for you, the home viewers, and everyone here in the studio audience, let's just take a look at the equipment. A rare behind-the-scenes tour here at NBC. Come on and follow me. We're going backstage in big league television. This is, of course, Paul Schaefer and the yeah. boys, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Right. This is, uh, we're actually backstage right now. And uh, what I wanted to show you, first of all, you know the old expression, you've got to learn the ropes? Well, this is where it came from. Every one of these ropes supports hundreds and hundreds of pounds of delicate electronic television equipment, and it really takes a seasoned pro to know which ones you can't mess with. These are all in use. For example, I know that this one here is okay to let loose. There's nothing on the end of that one. Yeah, we'll just uh, sleep that up a little bit later. Now, over here... Oh, this is exciting. People say to me, Dave, where do the really big stars live here at NBC? <laughs> and this is a stairway to one of the many luxury apartments uh, uh, for the stars here at NBC, and this is great. Uh, don't use all the hot water, Rona. <laughs> now, let's see. Oh, this is exciting. You've got to be very quiet when you come back here because you'll never know who you're going to wake up. This is the, perhaps the innermost recess of the backstage area. I wanted to call your attention to this particular sign up there. Refreshments for to tell the truth personnel only. And what refreshments they are, too, huh? Um, now, this little item, people say, how has the Today Show been able to stay on the air for 30 years? Well, I'll tell you, back in the mid-60s, they started manufacturing their own appliances, and uh, I have a Today Show blender and hairdryer at home. I'm going to show you. What we're ultimately working up to is the control room. I'll tell you, the technological advances in television 
uh, leaps and bounds they're growing and it takes a real precision crew to, to operate the stuff come on through here before we get to the control room uh, this of course is uh, the green room and uh, you can see we have uh, vegetables and the corn and uh, got some winter wheat coming in these are some of the few vegetables here at NBC not in programming <laughs> uh, oh, that's, just, no, that's, that's a joke try to do as much fun as we can People tend to underplay the role of makeup in television. Here is, of course, the makeup room at 6A. I want to just show you a little something. Hi, how's it going? Hi, Matt, thank you very much. Good luck. I enjoy your show. Now, now, see, you know who that was? Before makeup? That's the star of Real People, Skip Stevenson. Okay, now this is a control room that I was telling you about earlier, and uh, not many people ever get to see the inside of one of these things because... It's a pressure-packed area. It's just about like being an air traffic controller. Let's go on inside and see how this baby works. What did I tell you? Yes, sir. You folks are in real luck. It's, it's Stein night, I think. How's it going? Good. Oh, this is great. How are you? It's our director right over here. Al, how's it going? Nice to see you. energy's down, your self-esteem's low, your blood pressure's high. You know what you need? Exercise. But who has the time? You do. Just imagine. Imagine what a difference you can make in just 20 minutes a day, three times a week with Nordic Track. Nordic Track. They call it the world's best aerobic exercise. Nordic Track's patented flywheel provides smooth, non-jarring continuity of motion, so there's no stress to your back or knees. Your total body gets into the action. That's not true with ordinary exercisers. Nordic Track's total body workout burns more calories. You'll lose weight, reduce stress, and feel better. I'll bet you never imagined fitness at home could be this easy. Now is the time to get rid of that unfit body. Create a new you. Try Nordic Track for 30 days at home with no risk or obligation. You'll see and feel the difference. Call for a free video and brochure. The time machine. We've all fantasized about it. Hop aboard and roar off into the future, or go back and relive a moment from our past. That's the idea behind A&E's time machine. We'll be there when history is made. And sneak a peek at the 21st century to find out what lies ahead for the next generation of time travelers. Time Machine with Jack Perkins, Friday. I think it'll be a trip worth taking. We got, we got a guy trapped over here. This will be fun to watch. Come on. Just crawl on through here. That's all right. Go right ahead. Uh, I enjoy seeing a grown man do that occasionally. Go ahead. It's our producer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, nothing left to chance here, you know. Well, about now you're asking yourself, gee, I wonder what else this show has. Well, I'll tell you, we have one of those. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to introduce my first guest uh, with credits that include Saturday Night Live, uh, the films Meatballs, Caddyshack, Where the Buffalo Roam, and Stripes. Bill Murray has become one of the top box office draws in show business. And besides that, he's a very funny man, and it's a pleasure to have him on our first program. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Murray. Everybody 
Hi, Bill. How's it going? It's fine. Nice to see you. Good. Thanks for being on the show. I certainly appreciate that. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I, I just wanted... I hope you don't take any offense. Offense at what? Well, I just came in. It's, you folks in the studio probably don't know it, but I had to go feed... Uh, I had to go back home, and I came right back, and uh, I got caught in traffic. They were a little nervous out there, and it, uh, it was no problem. It's just that I'm not wearing shoes right now. Like, you're okay. No, I'm just kidding. I have shoes. Oh, there was a problem earlier? No, no. They shouldn't have, They didn't tell you, obviously. You look sedated, so obviously you don't know. <laughs> Something happened that we uh, don't fully understand? No, well, no. Nothing happened. Well, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm happy that whatever the difficulty was, you uh, got it ironed out. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, can we go on with the questioning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, where have I been? Oh, no, okay. Go ahead. Whatever the question is. Uh, you, were in, you were in the stripes. I missed the first part of the show, by the way. What happened? <laughs> is it going well? I know this is the first show, and I think this guy needs a little support. Dave yeah. Letterman. All right, okay, good. All right, okay. <laughs> where were we? <laughs> um, you were going to ask me about the last time I was on your show. Oh, yeah. Now, the, well, this may not be of any interest to anybody, and, and it's barely interesting to me, but let me... Uh, <laughs> they're, they're pumped up out there. Uh, the, the, what are you playing with there? Uh, it's just lint. It's just lint from inside my pocket. Here, I got more. Now, this is interesting. <laughs> you, you were in a movie last year that was number five in the box office tabulations. No, it was number three. Number three. <laughs> You're a major star, and yet here you are playing with lint balls. <laughs> well, I wish that you would quit trying to run my life. <laughs> no, I mean this. Uh. I mean it. I'm real. I was like, uh, you've got everyone here under your spell. It's obvious. Uh, you know, you had them doing deep breathing exercises before the show. I don't like to see it. You know, I know you're on here in late night where no one can stop you, but. This kind of thing is not going to go on as long as I have some connections here in this building, the RCA building. I saw what you did to Mr. Wizard. <laughs> Don Herbert. He no. has the wizard in his pocket. No, no. And you just can't no. use science for your own ends, Dave. <laughs> you can't play God with people. When are you going to get off the high horse? Smell the coffee brewing. So, do you miss Saturday Night Live? <laughs> I miss it. Uh, I miss going back. I miss yeah. the old gang. Yeah. Bob Tischler, of course, my old friend, is producing it. My brother, Brian Doyle Murray, is on the show and one of the stars of the show. Wait a second, what's happening to me? I just fell back into your old trick, your old mind game. I'm reading these goofy questions, I'm answering your little questions off the card. Where do I miss Saturday night? You never missed anybody or anything. <laughs> You got out of Indianapolis and didn't look back. <laughs> well, I, I, oh, yeah. I'm just waiting for the other shoe to fall on you, man, and I want to be there when it hits the floor. You know what I'm saying? There you go. I'm going to do nothing about you, even though I could. You know, it's interesting. I had a chance to strangle Richard Nixon, and I didn't, and I regret it. And here I am, inches from... I don't know what's keeping me from doing it. So, now that you're well-known, is it harder to be funny? Well, no, it's not, well, it's a little bit different. You know, you go out to a restaurant, you can't eat, you know, and people want yeah. your autographs yeah. and so forth, and it's hard to eat. And, Am I doing? What's happening? I swear, Letterman. If it's the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make every second of your life. From this moment on, a living hell. <laughs> For what you've done. No, 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 go ahead and talk to them. They're all singing your song tonight, Dave. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll never make it home tonight. I'll tell you what. I'll never make it home. We're you just see the guys he's got in my dressing room waiting. <laughs> We're going to uh, take him. a break to towel off Bill. Uh, and then we'll be right back. After you take right. it Stain-resistant rugs resist most stains, but some. 
are irresistible. Introducing Woolite Tough Stain Rug Cleaner. It's tough on stains, but safe even on stain-resistant rugs. Trust new Woolite Tough Stain. Shower yourself soft with Capri Moisturizing Shower Soap. Capri's Creamy Lather gently cleans your skin, and its micro-moisturizing beads leave skin soft and smooth. Capri Shower Soap for softer skin. Kids are do-it-yourselfers by nature. That's why Fisher-Price is introducing the Action Workshop and Action Tools, designed like the real thing for hours of constructive behavior. There's a saber saw, a drill geared for fun, tools so realistic, do-it-yourselfers feel like they really are doing it themselves. Fisher-Price Action Tools and Action Workshop. It's all in a day's fun. It's 11 p.m. You know where your comedians are. Aries in Prague, same as it always was. If you think Architectural Digest is an investment to be saved and savored, then you are right. Each spectacular issue brings you the very best in interior design, art, antiques, and travel. Call now and you'll find the investment is smarter than ever. With 12 fabulous issues for just $29.95. As part of this offer, you receive this special bonus, Celebrity Homes Revisited. Your free gift is a new subscriber. Call toll-free 800-354-3400 for Architectural Digest. That's 800-354-3400. The name of the program here is uh, Late Night. My name is David Letterman. Uh, this is uh, Bill Murray. And Bill, uh, you were about to say, I'm sorry, I interrupted there. I owe you the biggest apology anyone has ever given anyone. Did. <laughs> I owe you an explanation for the way I behaved. Uh, I have been working like a dog on a project that no one else is even involved in. That's why it's so damn hard. I'm doing it all by myself. And doctor has told me that I could crack at any time. Unfortunately, it had to happen here tonight, your first show. And... Had kind of a breakdown here, huh? Well, I have uh, a sort of a chemical imbalance. Uh -huh. It's not anything. It's just a salt problem, and uh -huh. I just need a certain amount of maintenance. Yeah. And I forgot. I was rushing around, you know, and everything, and I just forgot, uh, you know, to take the pill and everything. But you're okay now. I'm, well, I tell you, I, I'm a little embarrassed, but I, I'm, I am okay now. Oh, that's I, I great. just wish you, because I love this guy. <laughs> I love this guy so much. And if you knew, there's only one person that's helped me through all of this, and it's Ben David, with a phone call or a note, just a little scribble on, you know, from the desk of David Letterman. It's so sweet. It's there. It's there. You know, I open the How mailbox. About the candy gram. A candy. It's, it's everything. It's all these things. They add up. You know, it's like, oh, Bill, do you need a ride for Christmas or anything like that? It's, he's always been there. The only one. And, uh... When you called earlier today, I said, don't worry about a tie. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he was... <laughs> he's been great. Ah, oh, I love this. Can we do this? No, we can't. Can we do this? No, no, no. no we're not. No. Can we do this? No. Okay, enough with the small. All right, I got a little bit misty and it's over. I understand you brought a videotape with you. Something I made in my backyard, and I'm so proud of this. This is the project I'm talking about. It's it's. Uh, this is what you're working so hard on. This is it, and I've been working night and day all by myself. I found a little animal, and uh, this little guy was being kept and forced to work in a Chinese restaurant. Uh, he's six, six weeks old. That's four, four years in adult years old. Four years old. And this little guy had to remember how to prepare 50 different Chinese meals. Now, you imagine a four-year-old trying to... They were feeding this guy MSG every, every three hours, and he was a wreck, an emotional and physical wreck. And I just grabbed him, and I said, we're going out the back door, and I... This guy's been in my backyard and okay, just so raising just high holy. We're going to take a look at this, Bill. I guess you just, just talk over this and the folks yeah. uh, watch the monitors. 
at home and use your TVs, He's, uh, I guess. His name is Cancun, and there he is. This is this guy's in my backyard, and look at him. Look at him. That's oh, great. I rented this panda so he'd have a companion. <laughs> and look at this. The kids in the neighborhood, they come and they visit, and it's, it's all for fun with this guy. And if you could have seen him just a couple of weeks ago, you know, and... and it's quite a place you got there. Oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Hey, well, they've, I'll tell you, my neighborhood's gone crazy ever since this little guy rolled in. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, I, I, it's cost me a heck of a lot of money because all these, these children show up and you got to feed them, you know. And, and here, this one, you know, when I like them a lot, I give them a little panda. This one, I'm crazy about her. I gave her a big panda, a giraffe, and a camel. But look at what they've done. I had to put all these railings and stuff in the backyard because the, the bear has just taken over my life. And look at him. If you could have seen him. And now look at him. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, that's amazing. You're doing some wonderful work, Bill. Can we look at a little of that again? Well, I don't know if we uh, do. We actually have time to roll. Would you like it? Uh, it's Me? all right. It's well, right. we leaving now. Oh, great. Oh, here there it is. He is. I, I do oh, yeah, yeah. It is a little more exciting the second time around, isn't it? Uh, I tell you what, we're going to, we're going to, uh... We're leaving now? We'll be right back, Bill, don't you worry. Uh, Mr. Wizard will be joining us in the next half hour. Once in a great while, a movie comes along that touches our hearts and lifts our spirits. The critics agree Paradise is that movie. They're calling it a feel-good, old-fashioned tearjerker. Touching, honest, and very special. Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith will win your heart. Paradise is the best film of the year. A masterpiece. Yes! Melanie Griffith, Don Johnson, Paradise, rated PG-13. Now playing in select cities. Starts Friday everywhere. Guy gives woman flowers. Time passes. Flowers die. She thinks of Guy. Guy equals dead flowers. Guy gives woman wine. Time stands still. She thinks of Guy. Guy, guy equals complete, complete fulfillment. fulfillment. Just in case we're wrong about this, we put flowers all over the label. Hi. If you have HBO, these are just some of the things you've recently seen. Exactly. But if you didn't have Showtime, these are just some of the things you recently missed. Look. The HBO Showtime Combo. Different movies, different specials, twice the choice. choice. It's all on cable. Cox Cable. Welcome back there. Uh, Mr. Wizard's going to be uh, joining us in a couple of minutes, but before that, uh, I understand, Bill, that uh, on your road to re recent rehabilitation, uh, <laughs> uh, something was very important to you, uh, you mentioned earlier. Well, besides you, <laughs> you know, we'd love. Yeah. I, uh, my doctor told me, told me 10 days ago, Bill, you'd have been dead today. That would be, that would have been, so I would be dead like... Uh, like 13 days now. <laughs> yeah. He said you would be dead if it weren't for aerobics. Aerobic exercise. The aerobic exercise has saved my life. Turn my life around. And I will talk at length about it. But I know you don't have time. No, darn the luck. <laughs> 
So, so you're going to... Yeah, well, what? You're going, to do, you're going to do a little of that for us, right? Well, wait a minute. Well, it's a aerobic snow. Aerobic snow. It's really kind of a morning... It's a morning... Uh, I like to do it early while I'm still mm -hmm. fresh, mm -hmm. or sometimes after lunch, after a big meal, just mm -hmm. to blow a little off at late night like this. Well, technically, this is morning now. Well... Anytime after midnight, generally considered yeah, well, morning. I got to feed Cancun in a couple hours. <laughs> Say, do you guys know the new Newton John thing? <laughs> Preston, Under Secretary of Education. I'm sure by now you've all heard about the President's change of public elementary and high school schedules. If not, uh, let me refresh your memory. On February 1st, 1982, everywhere in the United States, the American School Day will begin at 12 noon. That's right, school now begins four hours later. But the later start time does not mean that your children must stay at school later. The school day will still end at 3 o'clock. The president's official quote on the matter was, they can leave any time they want. It is the hope of the president and all of us here at the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare that your youngsters take advantage of this new schedule to broaden their interests, grow as citizens, and spend a lot more time watching late-night television. Thank you. This stylish Contour Model 535 chair lounge costs less than many ordinary easy chairs. Yet ordinary easy chairs can't support your body like this contour chair. See, ordinary lounge chairs, no matter how soft and cushy they feel, leave gaps where your head, neck, upper and lower back, thighs, legs, and feet go unsupported. But Contour's Model 535 chair is orthopedically correct to support your entire body. Yet it costs no more, even less than many ordinary easy chairs. So if you want a stylish chair you can relax in for hours without neck, back, or leg strain, call toll-free and get free facts by mail about Contour's very relaxing and very affordable Model 535 chair. Call to receive this free information by mail now. Call toll-free 1-800-634-4200. That's 1-800-634-4200, toll-free. 1-800-634-4200. This infernal problem is consuming me. It's an ugly, dangerous business. There's something devilish in this one. Forget it. It's poison. Ah! The fine, cold-blooded, deliberate murder. Murder most baffling, most dangerous. A huge, demonic murder to challenge the mind of a master that's right put some mystery into mondays sherlock holmes tonight on a and e said the Bahamas, you're not only right, you're close. For a free guide to the Bahamas, just call us. Thank you, Paul. Thank 
Thank you. Nice to have Bill Murray with us, and I know most of you are sitting at home thinking, is this PBS? Well, no. <clears throat> uh, you know, because we're on uh, at late night, uh, we have a chance to do some hard-hitting, in-depth news reporting during the day, and whether you know it or not, there are just a couple of things wrong with New York City. <laughs> so we went out on the streets to take a closer look and file this report that we call the shame of the city. Not everyone survives in this urban battlefield we call New York City. This combination cityscape and war zone, the crowded landscape has claimed another gentle victim. Yes, say goodbye to the once plentiful, majestic pine tree. I'm here at 52nd and Park, once a thickly wooded forest right here in Manhattan. Now, everywhere are the dead trees. Cut down in their prime, victim of some mysterious blight, was it pollution? Maybe overcrowding? Perhaps forced out by too many delicatessens? No one seems to know what's killing our trees. There are no simple answers. Only simple questions and simple people like myself to ask them. It's truly the shame of the city. Can we take these home for firewood? Can we just bust them up a little bit? Midtown Manhattan center of the arts, but some people are out to destroy it for everyone. I'm here on the corner of 50th and 7th Avenue where we see something, maybe it's just a little thing, but for my money, more hard evidence of the shame of the city. Planing a party by one of these. A sudden arbitrary addition of an extra E and a missing end down here. I don't know about you, but this is the kind of thing that really gets me steamed. Excuse me, sir, could you come in here? What is your name, please? My name is Danny. Danny, do you work in this establishment? Yes, sir. Now, were you aware of the fact that there are two misspellings in this sign? Yes, I know. You do know, but yet you put the sign up. I want to change that. You are going to change it. Thank you very much, Denny. There you have it, a blight on society remedy, and frankly, I was proud to be a part of it. New York City, center of culture, of wealth, of power, and victim of one of the highest crime rates in the history of mankind. A crime rate that continues to climb and shows no sign of stopping. And you have to ask yourself, is it really any wonder when you take a look at the police department? A population of 10 million, and this is the police department? It's shocking, horrifying, tragic, and yet nothing is being done about it. Excuse me, sir. Do you work here? Yes, I do. Are you the only one who works here? Yes, I am. Unbelievable, yet it's true. <laughs> Truly. The shame of the city. From uh, roughly the years 1951 to about 1965, there was a television program on uh, oh, Mr. Wizard. Uh, Don Herbert, of course, was Mr. Wizard. Uh, it, it, this is very exciting for me. He's here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The original, the one, the only, Mr. Wizard. Yeah. Hello, Don. Nice to see you, sir. We're going to do some, some neat stuff here. Before we get into that, well, in, in those years, was there ever any serious mix-ups where a little kid was uh, roughed up a little on the show? <laughs> no, not really, because in the kind of show we were doing, you know, anything could happen, it was perfectly all right. Only once, <clears throat> we did an experiment in which we put a bottle over a candle and then light the candle with a little coil next to the wick. And one time in the rehearsal, we got the wick wet. So when we got it all set up, we turned on the current, it got hotter and hotter and vaporized the candle so that a in the bottle, we had a mixture of vaporized paraffin and oxygen, and suddenly it disappeared from the close-up. <laughs> <laughs> up, up into the lights. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and, of course, I was shocked uh, because I thought, my God, the bottle blew up. It turned out I heard it clang down behind me, uh -huh. so I knew that... that and, and the child was standing next to me. They were covered with water. And I was, too. Uh, and then as soon as I saw that she wasn't hurt, well, I got out a towel and wiped, her off, wiped myself off. And we went right on doing it. Was she stunned a little bit? Yeah, she yeah. sure was. And that was the only time we did, ever edited the show. Mm -hmm. We cut the laughter of the crew. We kept everything. 
What crew doesn't love to see a kid vaporize? Uh, you could hear him laughing way in the control room. It was a horror. What, uh, what uh, as they say, what are we going to do this evening? Well, I brought some of sort of my favorite, almost classical experiments oh, good. to do. The first one is here is a bottle of soda water. Mm -hmm. As you know, there's gas dissolved in it. Here is a baby bottle that has a measuring along the side, mm -hmm. and I want you to sort of guess how much gas is dissolved in this bottle. Here's four ounces. Is it less than four ounces, between four and eight ounces, or more than eight ounces? And I have to guess? Well, you know, go ahead. Uh, 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 how much? I'm guessing the amount that's of gas a, yeah, in this bottle. About, that's about ten ounces here. Oh, I would say it's uh, probably uh, less than four ounces of gas. Okay, you will find out. Here's what we will do. I feel we've like already, a kid. We, we've already lost some, right? <laughs> yeah, that, now what kind of gas is in there? It's not the... Uh, Carbon dioxide that's gas. That's right. Right, okay. We'll pour it into the baby bottle. Do many babies drink club soda? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, not with this nipple, because this is a special kind of nipple that does not have a hole in the top. Well, what, what's the point of that? Well, they're called, they're called blind nipples, and the mother is supposed to make her own holes since we're over side. Now, would you take it and shake it, please? Take it and shake it? Shake it. Take it and shake it. <laughs> Keep going. You lost a little bit. Lost some gas, but that'd be great on the subway. You know? <laughs> People would stay away from me if you had one of those, wouldn't they? <laughs> anyway, if we hadn't lost quite so much, you will find that, that the entire liquid will go into the nipple, oh, which I see. means that there's at least more than eight ounces of gas. So I, I is, yeah, yeah, so 10 ounces of liquid and eight ounces of well, gas. Well, there's at least 10 ounces of it, yeah. And that means you drink it, it'll kill you, right? <laughs> <laughs> it'll make you burp. Yeah, yeah. Now, by the way, notice the pressure. Mm -hmm. That is hard to blow up, believe me. There we are, back to normal. Good heavens. Anyway, there you are. <laughs> Here, do you ever remember probably the most famous of all the sort of uh, home science demonstrations, getting the hard-boiled egg in the bottle? <clears throat> yes. Okay, well, that... You can't do that much anymore because they don't have milk bottles, and that's what you used to do with it. That's right. So I have now got a new version. Mm -hmm. This is a balloon filled with water. What you have to do is to get that balloon filled with water into the bottle. Do you want me to do that? Well, well, you can't. Uh, you, you, yeah, it's just too big. <laughs> I'd need special tools. We'd have to send out for them. We'd be here all night. Let us do it in the in the classical way. Uh, I'll get the balloon wet so we make sure that it is nice and lubricated. Okay. I'd like you to take it in your hand like this. I think we've all seen Shriners do this, haven't we? <laughs> I am going to light this piece of paper and put the burning paper into the bottle. Okay. And then I want you to put the balloon on top of okay. like that. Okay, that'll be now, all right. Now, what is going to happen is the paper <clears throat> burning is going to heat up the air inside. That makes it expand, and the balloon, when you put it over the top, is going to work as a one-way valve, allowing the air to get out. Mm -hmm. But as soon as the flame goes out, the air is going to get cool again. Okay. It'll contract and no outside air pressure can get in there because this is hard, so it's going to push on the balloon and force it in. Okay. Are you ready? You want a drum roll or anything here, sir? Well, if you'd like. Can we have just a small drum roll? It's the first night they play along. <laughs> Are you ready? Put the balloon on top. Oh! Good heavens! Now the question is, um, how do you get that sucker out? <laughs> yeah. An ice pick is handy, uh -huh. but the reason why it went in is because the air pressure pushed it in because we lowered the pressure right. there. All we have to do is get the balloon down here like this. If you try to pull it like that, you're going to make this air pressure less. So what I'd suggest that you do is the following. We have just two minutes here. We want to get minutes. to the other one too. All right. Well, let us... What we do... See, the problem is this hardly ever comes up in real life, though. 
In, in fact, in fact that, that's one of the things that people very often would say, why do you want to get the egg in the bottom? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're just sort of fun to do. <laughs> okay, here comes the balloon. I have a straw, you see, in there next to it. Right. So as you pull up on the balloon... The same principle of the shoehorn. Okay. <laughs> pull on the balloon. Pull on the balloon. Oh, now this is... Whoa. There you go. You get it. Do we... I, I'm afraid we don't have time for this one. We have to pause. Uh, we'll be right back, folks. your car's engine. This hot, 570 degrees under extreme conditions. Take a leading motor oil. Take Mobile One and watch. Of course, Mobile One costs more, but under extreme conditions, when you see what can happen to conventional motor oil, it doesn't pay to play with fire. Mobile One, isn't your car worth the extra protection? December 7th. 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America... Fifty years ago, 2,400 Americans gave their lives for freedom at Pearl Harbor. Today, their courage echoes across the generations. Now you can own this $10 coin dedicated to them. Larger than a U.S. half dollar and painstakingly minted in solid, brilliant, uncirculated brass, this legal tender coin is being issued by the Republic of the Marshall Islands, a key World War II battlefield. Issued December 7th, 1991, this historic coin is available at its face value for a limited time only. It's a tribute to those who gave their lives at Pearl Harbor and whose memory rallied America to ultimate victory. These proceedings are closed. Order your Heroes of Pearl Harbor coins today. Pay just the $10 face value plus $2 each for delivery. There's a limit of five coins per order. Call now. Tonight, let's make a deal. Marty Hall guest host at the Improv. Comedy at 11 on a and &E. Thank you very much, Paul. Uh, Don Herbert is with us, Mr. Wizard. What have you been doing since uh, the Mr. Wizard series? Uh, uh, I don't want to say vaporized, but was it? well, we're doing a very exciting project, David. Uh, from the National Science Foundation and the General Motors Research Laboratories, we've got a grant in which we're doing short, 80-second science sort of news pieces, which are inserted into uh, 125 local newscasts around the United States. So I'm sort of the local science reporter. Great. They're not doing, you know ridiculous things like this, but real, legitimate <laughs> science. Well, this, this is important. I don't think the Russians can do this one yet. Um, okay, Don, what, what's next here? Well, I'd like to now be more serious uh, and ask you a question which I would ask the child on the show. What's a BTU? Uh, it's a British thermal unit, and it's a, a means of measuring something. Aha, very good. Thank you. Good night. Drive safely. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's the amount of heat that's necessary to raise a pound of water one degree Fahrenheit. A hard thing to remember. Mm -hmm. So the next time you see those three letters BTU, here, would you take that? Take a good look at that. That is about one BTU, the amount of heat in one burning kitchen. So mat. this would raise one pound of water one, one degree, degree Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit? Here are 40. Can I blow this out? Oh, apparently not. Now you can. And here, take 40 BTUs. So kind of think, what could you do with 40 BTUs? Uh, Song Happy Birthday comes to mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> if you're <coughs> trying to boil an egg, well, you, might, you might get the water hot, but you run out of BTUs mm -hmm. really before. And now a furnace puts out uh, 150,000 BTUs. So the next the time... The household, yeah, household furnace. So think of a pile of 150,000 matches. <laughs> <laughs> There go the cufflinks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. Okay, now you can't do much about... It'll go out all by itself. You can't do much about BTUs because they're sort of inherent in the fuel, but once you get them up into the room where you want them, now you can do something about it. And I'd like to demonstrate. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. 
So if something horrible were to happen to one of your hands, you'd rather have it happen to your left hand. <laughs> yes. Okay, would you come around here and take it? I'd like your left hand, please. Put it right down here, like that. Here's a quarter, which I'm going to put on your hand. Mm -hmm. Here's a match, which I'll give you in your good hand. Mm -hmm. You take a tip of it like that. And I want you eventually to reach over and touch the tip of the quarter like that with the match. Because I'm going to heat up the quarter <laughs> with this blowtorch. We checked this guy out, didn't we? <laughs> I'm going to cover your hand <laughs> with some insulation. Okay. This is modern insulation. Uh, and I'll pat it down so there's about... Here, kitty, 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 kitty. There's about an inch or so of, of insulation above your hand. I'll put the quarter on the top. Mm -hmm. Now, whatever you do, don't move that hand. Because here comes the blowtorch. There's about a thousand degrees of heat. You ready with the uh, match? As soon as I take the blowtorch away, touch the match to the quarter. You ready? Okay, touch it. But don't move that hand. Oh, that's how hot that was. Now you can blow out the match. Still don't move that hand. Listen. Mm. It was, now you can move your hand. Okay. Well, the, 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 would you like the quarters? The the oh, yeah. yeah thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, and as Kathy Lee Crosby would say, don't try this at home, boys and girls. Yeah. <laughs> Lord heavens, what is this stuff? It's vermiculite. It's a sort of a, a mica-like material that's been expanded. And this, this I get at the garden shop. They, they dig it into the soil to keep the soil moist. But it is used as insulation in the walls and ceiling of your house and is very, very effective insulation. Yeah. Yeah. There are some better on the market. But you can see it's fireproof. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, well, fireproof. I get the good stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, you can see why, why insulation is so important. If it could keep a thousand degrees that, yeah. that close yeah. to your hand. Now, this one actually does have a practical application. Yes, like you said. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be serious now. Yeah. Then. Terrific. Your hand all right? Uh, everything is fine. Uh, yeah. Very <laughs> right. nice. Uh, this is fascinating stuff. Well, thank you. I appreciate you uh, coming yeah. by. This is Don Herbert, Mr. Wizard. Thank you. Bye. for an important offer from American Heritage Magazine. It began with all the trappings of a Sunday afternoon sporting event. But when the smoke cleared from Bull Run, it revealed the first casualties of America's bloodiest war. 130 years after it began, the Civil War has lost none of its power to move us. I'm Jim McPherson, and I'd like to send you this compelling history, the Civil War Chronicles, as a free gift for trying American Heritage Magazine. American Heritage is history with all the impact of this morning's paper. American Heritage's first-hand history, its personal history, of the underrated Americans who made a difference, and of the famous who may have made less of a difference than you think. American Heritage's art, antiques, architecture, travel. There isn't another magazine like American Heritage. And right now, I invite you to try it for yourself, without obligation. Call toll-free 1-800-257-1818 for a trial subscription to American Heritage for just $29.95. And the Civil War Chronicles is yours free. If not satisfied, simply write cancel on your bill and owe nothing. He's the Robin Hood of the art world. What? Out to redistribute the wealth. The free antique valuation scam. An expert at running the car. Late Regency. Very late. We should be done this week. Or ruining one. Well, as Nelson said, go and have an eye for it. Who knows if something's real, fake, or framed. Why would the police have been here? Because they're after you. But it's usually Lovejoy who cracks the case. Lovejoy, a true original, tonight on a &E. Thank you very much, uh, Paul. Uh, we have to uh, turn the power on uh, this thing off in just a moment. I want to, uh, first of all, thank the studio audience. You folks were uh, uh, sweet to be here this evening. 
Did he say sweet to the studio audience? Unbelievable. I've never said that to a studio audience in my entire life, but thank you very much, folks. You're a handsome uh, group of people. And by the way, if you'd like Bill Murray to come to your own home and sing that same number, uh, also my thanks to Mr. Bill Murray and uh, Mr. Wizard Don Herbert. And what show would be complete without the Rainbow Grill Peacock Girls, whom we saw earlier? Paul Schaefer in the band. Thank yeah. you, folks, for being here. Uh, our announcer, Bill Wendell. And tomorrow evening, comedian Pat Paulson, screenwriter Steve Tesich, dentist Norman Hoffman will be here to review the film Reds <laughs> and a tour of NBC. That's all coming up tomorrow. Um, so be sure and uh, tune in, as they say, when they want you to tune in. Uh, here now to close our show is Mr. Steve Fessler, a guy from Brooklyn who for some reason has committed to memory all the dialogue of the two-and-a-half-hour classic B film Bowery at Midnight, starring Bella Lugosi. So now for those of you who would really rather be watching old movies at this time of night, I know I would. Please welcome Steve Fessler. Bowery at Midnight with Bela Lugosi, John Archer, and Wanda McKay. Extra, extra, read all about it. Read about the escape of Fingers Dolan, paper mister. You shouldn't smoke that. It might stunt your growth. Ah, uh, if you gotta go ahead and smoke it. I'm saving it for after dinner. Dinner? You mean you got a place for a handout? Sure, over at the Friendlies. A friendly what? Ain't you ever heard of the Friendly Mission? Nah. You sure to get some swell food there and no questions asked. But what are we waiting for? Come on, pal. There it is. Ain't it pretty? Just like I told you. Gorgeous. And a guy that runs it, he's a soft touch. Oh, good evening. I see you brought a needy friend with you tonight. Yeah, he's a pedestrian from Pittsburgh. You're very welcome. Here you will find food for your body, as well as comfort for your troubled mind. Yeah, but I'd really like some soup. Of course, my friend. What happened to your hand? Ah, oh, nothing. I just tied it a little bit. Ah, oh, just the same. You'd better take care of it. Nurse Malvern, here's a patient for you. Have another bowl? No, thanks. And what about a smoke? I'm David Walter. Witness the War of the Sexes as the Primal Man series continues with the battle for dominance. Next on A&E. The New Yorker. It's been called the best magazine in the world. Probably the best magazine that ever was. See if you agree. Call this number and get 52 weekly issues of the New Yorker for just $25.95. That's $65 off the cover price. Week after week, the quality of the New Yorker speaks for itself. So call 1-800-847-7200 for 52 weekly issues of the best magazine in the world. Yes, The New Yorker. When the world only dreamed of flight, men of vision took to the skies. Theirs is a story of pioneering courage and technological adventure. Neil Armstrong soars to new heights as he takes you through a living history of aviation. First Flights, Wednesday on a &E. Lyndon Johnson filled the air. This was his town. I think he would have been considered a great president if he hadn't gotten involved in Vietnam. He was frustrated because he couldn't end it and because he couldn't win it. Few presidents knew more triumph. Few suffered such a swift and tragic fall. Watch LBJ next time on The American Experience. Tonight at 8 on Public TV. Hi. If you have HBO, these are just some of the things you've recently seen. Exactly. But if you didn't have Showtime, these are just some of the things you recently missed. Look. The HBO Showtime Combo. Different movies. Different specials. Twice the choice. choice. It's all on cable. Cox Cable. Called it the luck of the draw. Fly 25 missions over Germany and you could go home. The 8th Army Air Force. 26,000 men died. A few survived. I'm Edward Herman. Join me for a salute to all the fine young men on our century. Wednesday, here on a and &E. This program is brought to you in part by Anheuser-Busch Companies. We're as committed to a quality environment as we are to quality products.